Nvidia is currently working on a graphics card that is even more powerful and power hungry than a 450 watt RTX 4090, which by the way is still on track to launch later this year. The information comes from a well-known leaker, Copite, over on Twitter, who has a good track record when it comes to Nvidia leaks. Could we see a new RTX Titan launch soon? Let's discuss its specs, possible release date, price and performance. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Now back to the video. The GPU in question is marked as AD102-450-A1. As with any unreleased products, we cannot be 100% sure about the name Nvidia will give it. It could end up being an RTX 4090Ti or RTX Titan. There is also a possibility that Nvidia will decide to scrap it or release another configuration entirely. This particular configuration features 18176 CUDA cores, which is not a full AD102 chip that tops out at 18432 CUDA cores with 96 MB of cache. So, there is room to increase CUDA core count for the absolute top model. Additionally, this configuration is equipped with 48 GB of 24 Gigabit per second GDDR6X memory, which leads me to believe that this could be a new Titan, not 4090 Ti. Because historically, Nvidia always equipped its Titan models with such ridiculous amounts of memory compared to the top mainstream graphics card. That would be RTX 4090 with 24 GB in this instance. Copite states that the total board power is around 800 watts. Bear in mind that this is not the same as TDP. As far as I am aware, Nvidia has no plans to release any graphics cards with TDP higher than 600 watts. Nvidia has already briefed its partners to prepare cooler designs capable of cooling 600 watt graphics cards. So it is highly likely that we will see such a flagship hit the market within the next year or so. When exactly is currently impossible to tell because Nvidia has no solid plans on that just yet. But there is a chance that such a product could be rushed to the market by the end of this year if AMD forces Nvidia's hand by releasing a Radeon graphics card that is equal to or even beats RTX 4090, which is a real possibility by the way. RX 7000 series GPUs appear to be very strong, according to the leaks I have seen so far. As for the price, I am sure that Nvidia once again wants to occupy that $2500 MSRP associated with the previous RTX Titan that was launched back in December 2018. But again, this will heavily depend on the state of the market at the time. So the ball is in AMD's park to compete against this monster GPU. I don't expect Intel to come out swinging in this kind of heavyweight competition anytime soon, as the company still struggles to launch its first generation of ARC graphics cards to the global market. As for the gaming performance, I think it will be close to what I predicted for the RTX 4090 Ti in one of my previous videos. Here is a snippet of it if you haven't seen it yet. Next up is the RTX 4090 Ti gaming performance at 4K resolution. A quick disclaimer, we know the performance target of RTX 4090 which I covered in another video. The 4090 Ti data is an estimation based on that. I want to be very clear that this is not a real benchmark. These charts are designed to give you a rough idea of what to expect from the next generation of graphics cards compared to the current gen. In summary, I expect RTX 4090 Ti to be twice as fast as RTX 3090. Cyberpunk 2077 is a perfect example of the GPU demanding games right now, but in the near future this may change as true next-gen games start arriving in 2023. That is over 100 FPS average on high-quality preset at 4K. Rainbow Six Siege is a light game that is a good example of an average competitive title up to 426 FPS on ultra settings. 
Expect to see close to 140 FPS in Borderlands 3 for that ultra-smooth experience on a 4K 144Hz monitor. Assassin's Creed Valhalla should allow the 4090 Ti to reach 120 FPS average on ultra-high quality preset. Close to 200 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider is looking especially promising. Expect over 180 FPS in Horizon Zero Dawn on Ultimate preset. The Amazon Delivery Employee Simulator, Death Stranding, should be able to run at above 230 FPS if the game engine and the CPU allows it. And finally, Watch Dogs Legion should see over 120 FPS average on Ultra Quality preset at 4K resolution. Like it or not, RTX 4090 Ti is shaping up to be the most powerful gaming graphics card. Who knows, maybe it will be good even for 8K gaming, at least using DLSS on quality or balanced preset. What do you think about this monster GPU? I am waiting to read your thoughts in the comments below. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.